Hi everyone, welcome to my YouTube channel. My name is Angie and this is Monsieur Poisson. I decided that for my first YouTube video, I'm going to be giving Monsieur Poisson here a little makeover. He's just gonna get spot cleaned. We're just gonna freshen you up, huh? Ain't that right? Today's May 13th, 2020. Y'all know what that means, quarantine. Uh, if you're watching this in the future, you'll probably be like, mm, I remember that. Or if you're too young to remember that, it's fine. Look it up in a history, look it up on Google. Are you excited? I'm so excited. All right, well, he's super excited. So let's just go ahead and get started. I'm gonna show you guys what you're gonna need. All right, so here's a quick look at some of the things that we're gonna need today. I have two towels. I have a Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles one and a Peppa Pig one. They don't have to be Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle and Peppa Pig, any towels work. I have some extra towels over there cause those are more fluffy and we're gonna use that to dry. I've got an old toothbrush. I got this somewhat fine tooth comb. I wish I had some sort of like pet brush, but I don't have any pets, so I don't have one of those. We're also gonna need some shampoo. I have this kind of shampoo. I don't think it really matters what kind of shampoo you can use though. It's, it's just shampoo. And you're gonna need some sort of bucket. I didn't have one, so I'm using this like empty Sterilite container. But I'm also gonna be trying to use this lint roller. It already has some hair on it because I shed like crazy but I'm just gonna use that and see how it goes. So I would recommend doing this on a hard surface flooring, not on a carpet, just because you don't wanna get the carpet wet in case you have a little spill. Um, so what I've done is I've set up a little sheet here on the floor. This is gonna be my workspace. Um, you could also use probably like a towel or an old blanket or something, just something to protect your floor if you want to do so. All right, so we are on the floor now. Before we begin, I just want to say I am in no way, shape, or form a stuffed animal cleaning expert. As a matter of fact, I tried to look at some YouTube videos and websites online before I started doing this, just to get some tips and tricks um, on how to clean stuffed animals, but honestly, I couldn't find anything that was that great, so I'm just going to come up with my own little technique. I have cleaned this guy before. I gave him like a full proper bath though, not like a spot clean, because he's a lot smaller, but you know, with this guy... If we get him really wet, he's gonna be super heavy and he's gonna take forever to dry. And I don't want him to get mildewy and smell disgusting. Isn't that right? So anywho, let's get started. So the first thing that I'm gonna do is take the lint roller and just go over him and get anything that's gonna come off really easily, um, such as like any little hairs that he's already shedding off or little things like this. I might just have to go in with my hands and get this. Although, um, in case you guys didn't know, for these little balls of lint and stuff. These are called pills, I believe, and you can actually remove this using like a razor. I just don't have any disposable razors right now, so we're just gonna do this by hand. All right, I'm gonna go in with the lint roller and see if it works. Okay, so it looks like the lint roller isn't working very good for the pills, but these, like I said, you can remove them by hand or use a razor to kind of just gently scrape them off. Okay, so now that he's all prepped, we're just gonna set him aside. You're gonna take your shampoo, take your bucket, and follow me to the bathroom. Right this way, right this way, come with me. Right this way, right this way, please. Don't be shy, come on, we're gonna go. We're gonna run over here. All right, here we are in the bathroom, woo! All right, so you don't really want too much water in here, but one thing I would recommend is using warm water. So we're gonna start it. And you don't want too much. Also don't want too much sh shampoo. I think we're gonna go in with like that much, just slowly pouring it in. I'm just gonna use my hand to stir it around. You want it pretty diluted. You see that? You see that? Just a good amount. Okay, so we've got the water, and now we're just gonna go ahead and get started. Okay, I'm gonna start with the Peppa towel. I'm just gonna dunk it in the water. Get it evenly soaked and then wring it out. All right, you don't want it to be too wet, just damp. And now we're just gonna go in and start rubbing. So 
So we're not even halfway through and the water's already getting a little bit grayish. So I've noticed there are a few patterns that are working for me, which are going up and down, side to side of course, and then doing circular motions first clockwise and then counterclockwise, vice versa. You can tell that he's getting clean because the water is getting dirtier. All right guys, so not gonna lie, I got a little distracted while I was cleaning Monsieur Croissant. I ended up doing a live on my Instagram just to show people what I was up to, but I'm gonna show you guys how I finished up cleaning him. So like I mentioned, that first batch of water was getting a little bit dirty. So what I did was I went back to the bathroom and made another solution. But before I went in and did the second round of cleaning with the towel, I went in and just brushed him to get the tangles out and also to dislodge some of the extra dirt that was gonna be in there. And then I went in and I rubbed him with the towel again like I did the first time. And once I was done with that, we did the final touches with a toothbrush. And you can see the toothbrush like just really helps fluff him back up, get his fur looking nice and cute. And it also gets all those little pieces of lint that were harder to get out with the cloth. But that's pretty much it guys. This is what he looks like now. He does need to be restuffed a little bit in his neck. I might just have to like floof him up because what happens is the stuffing inside of your stuffed animals often just gets like really compressed and uh, you just have to, you know, vigorously fluff him back up again. But here's a close up of what he looks like now. Nice and clean and his fur is super fluffy and he smells so good. I have a lavender shampoo, so he smells like lavender. <laughs> Go figure. <laughs> All right, guys, thank you for tuning in to my impromptu YouTube video about cleaning jumbo stuffed animals. I know I looked naked most of the time, but it's tube top problems, am I right? <laughs> All right, guys, thank you so much for watching. I hope you learned something new and had fun while you were here. Until next time, au revoir.